Well, howdy, party people and space cadets, and welcome to Slim's Reviews. And I'm your host, Spider Island Space Cat Sassafras Slim. And today we're going to be taking a look at the amazing Legacy Dragon Zord. And this is from the Power Rangers Legacy line, which is essentially a higher end versions of some of the classic Power Rangers toys. And this is the Legacy Dragon Zord. And uh, let me tell you, when Power Rangers first came out, I was in the ninth grade. And I, I dug it. I thought it was cool. But it wasn't something I was super obsessed with until they introduced the Green Ranger and the Dragon Zord. And from that point on, that was my thing. So the Legacy line, I mean, there's so much to talk about. They're so, so well done figures. But it's cool because... There's actually die cast parts. I mean, it's not fully die cast, but there is a lot of, there's metal in here. And this guy, he is quite hefty. I actually had the original Dragon Zord as well. And I've, I've wanted this one for a long time, and I know I'm a little late to the game with this review on him. But just for whatever reason, I just now got around to getting him. And that reason may or may not have been a sell on Amazon. Yeah, so seeing him, I thought he was pretty similar to the original, but when you see him side by side, unfortunately my original is in storage, there's quite a bit of difference. A lot more articulation and just detail in this one. Unfortunately, though, I, this one, unless I'm just missing something, does not light up. But nonetheless, it's very cool. And as I said, it's very hefty. According to the box here, it's 11 inches tall. But why don't we just kind of take a closer look at him? He has a bit more... I don't know if fragile is the word exactly, but it, the pieces kind of can come off and that kind of stuff much easier. Like when I was trying to put his tail on, I was like, oh, there goes his leg, but it went right back on. It's actually made very well for turning and that sort of thing. So yeah, we have, let's take a look there at that head. Nice detailing up through the chest. Oh, and if you see his hands, I actually have one of each. But he actually comes with four hands. One with the open kind of fingers for the shooting of the missiles, and one of a more closed fist for punching stuff. But you know, let's look at the feet. Yeah, like I said, man, this is, he's got some heft to him. A lot of detail, like, look, even up under the feet. But then we turn him around here, and he's got this the long, awesome tail and if you look the tail actually is in whatever you call these things so you can position it when I was reading some reviews online people were kind of complaining like oh I wish the tail didn't just stay in one spot but I mean, what more could you want than that and really I just cannot say enough nice things about this piece especially if you have that that love of the the dragon sword and I would, I'll go on record and say the Dragon Sword is one of my top all-time favorite giant robots. Easily in the top five. It, he would probably be even number one if it wasn't for the Super Inframan. But since Inframan's a cyborg, I don't know if you count that as a giant robot or not. I mean, he grows and he's robotic. Whereas the Dragon Sword is more strictly robot. But he is sentient in a way, it's been proven. So, who knows? There we are. All right, well, I think I will switch into my more humanoid form and transform him into his more humanoid form. So, yeah, I may have mentioned before, but your buddy Slim's not too smart. Well, I'd totally forgotten that you need the Megazord in order to do the more humanoid form. So I transformed him to the point of which, before you need to attach to the other Zords, so that's the humanoid form, and then there's the Gigantico, his Gigantico weapon. But you know what we'll do? This is such a cool thing. I'll transform it back from this, where he would attach to the, because the legacy Megazord, the legs and arms go there. I'll just transform him back so you can kind of get an idea of how this thing works. So first off, you got the legs here, and those just come down. And you just snap shut the <laughs> yeah, just snap shut the the casings there. See, easy enough. You gonna stand for me? You gonna stand weird? Things gonna stand weird. Okay, but let's just set him back there. I know this is riveting. 
So you have the his chest plate becomes a part of the the giant weapon. So we'll just take the tail off. The tail is the only thing that's giving me issues, man. I'm wanting the there we go. Put the tail there. We have his chest plate back, and that just comes right out of the thing. See, it kind of extends, so you can put the tail in there. Shut that back. And we're going to... Don't worry, this isn't going to be as PG-13 as it sounds. We're going to pop open his chest there. See, oh, I mean, there's so much... I mean, look how it turns and stuff. But then you open him up down the middle. And you just slip his chest piece smooth, smooth, smoothly back in there. Two thousand years later. Oh, huh. yeah. I need to shut his mouth because you remember his face is in his mouth, like so many of us. This is. Really, the second time I'm trying this, I just took this out of the box today for this video. Okay, so he's back there. You can take his arms right out of the sleevey things. Shut that there. See, so easy, even. Uh, not very smart cat goblin can do it. Oh yeah, his legs come out a little like this, that, so he stands better. And there we have it. Oh, put his fin down. I like the fin down. I saw a lot of pictures and reviews and stuff. The fin was up. I don't know. I just didn't look right to me. And there we have the Legacy Dragon Zord, which I highly recommend. And I don't know how the availability of it's going to be for too much longer. From what I understand, Bandai lost the, the licensing, at least in the States. And so Power Rangers is going over the Hasbro now. So it actually surprised me I was able to find this one and at a good price. I think I paid 64 in total for him. So jump on him, get him while you can. Well, don't jump on him, probably break, but like I said, he's hefty. And this is a nice box, too. Look at that. It almost looks like the old school box. Well, that's all the time we have for this week. Please like, subscribe, comment. All right, well, may your pants always be filled with marshmallows. Thank <music> you.